Good afternoon to you viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to show to you an adjacent box beam bridge that was designed by a team in our unit, the bridge unit of my work establishment. So construction on this bridge started approximately a year ago. So we have made, my team has made one such inspection. So we went out a couple of days ago to do our final inspection. So the bridge has just been constructed. So we just made a trip to the bridge to see that everything is constructed according to specification and drawings. So as usual, I want you to watch the videos until the end. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button, share the video, and always remember to leave a comment. So watch the video. Thank you. So here folks, we are doing the final inspection on this bridge. So they are putting up the guide rail now. So this is the guide rail. So the guide rail is going to go on both sides. So this is the bridge here, the single span adjacent box beam bridge. So this is the deck here. So I'm going to go beneath the bridge to show you what is going on. So let's go beneath the bridge. So this is beneath the bridge now so this is an adjacent box beam so, so these are the beams folks this is the beam here and they are put together so this is an adjacent box beam so that's about that's the abutment over there with riprap. So this bridge was cover critical, and that's the other adjacent there. So and those black team, those black thing in between, there are neoprene pads. I'm gonna go and touch them show you what I'm talking about so this is the, this is R8 riprap at the abutment and if you notice there's a weep hole in the abutment so yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah Yeah, this is R6 choke with R4. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, 
this black said so this black thing here. Yeah. So a neoprene bearing pad. Neoprene bearing pad, yeah. Yeah, it's AJ said box beam. Mm -hmm. That is downstream. The bridge. Downstream. So water flow in there. And that is upstream. Mike! Yeah. The, the black things are neoprene bearing pads, right? Yeah. Neoprene bearing pads, right? Exactly yeah. Beer, yeah, elastomeric neoprene bearing pads. Yes. You see, uh, yeah, yeah. And then the architectural surface treatment and the um, the abutments yeah, do. Architectural surface treatment, right? They put wee poles in the abutments too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, so this is an adjacent box beam. So, this is it, folks. The adjacent box beam. So that's the abutments with architectural surface treatment. Architectural surface treatment on the abutment here. It's supposed to be abutment two, and that over there is supposed to be abutment one. And these are your your neoprene bearing pads. These black thing here are your elastomeric neoprene bearing pads. Uh, this is our final inspection for this bridge here. Oh. Abram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm making videos for now for my records, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
So we are just carrying out the final measurements, the dimensioning of the guide rail to see if it's done on done as to what is on the drawings. Let's look good folks. I don't know if So far. So I'm gonna show you how, how they install the guide rail, the post for the guide rail. That's the elevation line there. They're going to that level right there, that car line. Have you ever been to any pile driving site? No. Listen, Are you I, had to, I had to do the count. Uh, the, me too. That oil on. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did it on the northeast extension, man. It's just rough. I've oil all over me and it's so, so low. When we were down, I, when I was in yeah. We were doing uh, down in Chester. Okay. We did, you know where the, where the soccer stadium is? Yeah, yes. They put they built those two ramps over there. Right. I, I had to do I had to do the power count to, to twenty to, to Yeah, I had to do when I was an inspector up by the northeast extension there. And the the rapid replacement bridge project, I do a lot of those ones. Yeah. When when the armor hits the pile the first time I hear it, I almost run. I think it was a gunshot. So, and it was all, all, man, it was, Listen, I didn't like it. You though. know, it, when, it gets, when it gets close, right. you got to measure the, the, the distance of it, that it moves. I, I, man, that, that, I had oil. You get oil. Oh, yeah. 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 I think it's like 20 blows per inch. Yeah, something like that. It, was, it, it had got to the point where we was, they were splicing. They had like uh, the piles, they, they were splicing them. They, they were like... Uh, Yes. They had to do like three or they spliced three of them together. Yeah,
Hadi. So this operation is just they're just using the hammer to drive the aluminum post for the guide rail. This is what is called a tri-beam, a tri-beam battery, and this is what is called a high post or a high column, and this is what absorbs the energy. I don't want to disturb these guys too much. 